after finding a new few comrades in the guards, the next wave is upon us. Now Fumi is still doesn't have the respect of pretty much anyone, except everyone that comes into contact with him and actually finds out what he's like, without any preconceived notions. And in this wave and attack, is he going to get the recognition he deserves? Or is there going to be another way to discredit everything? We're going to have to find out. And with these new guys on board, hopefully the, the next wave is going to be slightly easier. And also that everyone's growth is going to be quite good, considering they're all part of the same party now. How much time would have passed in the home world Because he would, if he was leading a normal life, he'd be reported missing. Flyers put up, search parties, police dropping the investigation. <laughs> He's preparing well, like a good Boy Scout. He has something for her to. <laughs> he he seems pleased, probably more so than Raftalia. And Philo too. Not usually how you ask for a present, but okay. And considering she jumps in and kicks everything, yeah, increases to agility is quite good. And he took that into account as well. <laughs> is everyone just ignoring... Um, Philo bouncing about. Fifteen seconds to spare. Yep. Bring him lots of materials for him to work with. And his... The princess is going to be happy that he now has a party to fight alongside him. Things are really starting on the uh, to take an uptick for him. The other heroes are proving to be less than entirely reliable. And the populace is seeing it. And with Raftalia getting the mana of regeneration, I'm expecting her to use a few spells in this episode. Now the hero is actually going to be working together or once again split up. Well, I say split up, it's three in one place and him somewhere else. Cock. 
kobolds. Protecting of a village in danger again. Yep. Hurry, get the hell out. <laughs> ah. How did that manage to sneak up on them? Yeah, it's not the time to be sitting around gawping. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, yeah, she's strong. Before. So, once again, someone who he helps out in the past, the old woman who gave medicine to, Back to fighting form. <laughs> uh, some impressive moves. Never underestimate... Never underestimate anyone, you don't know what they were in a... Previous time. Does, um... Does she need help evacuating? So he's been here defending the village for three hours while they take care of things. The longer it goes on, the... <laughs> Just from a pat on the back, knocked the wind out of him. Why does the footstep sounds while she's wearing the talons just remind me of old, like, an old PS1 game, but I can't remember which one. A floating galleon. I like it. Okay. So they're all doing their own thing. Ah, uh, we've we need to spawn the soul eater to stop the waves. Kind of like with the chimera or whatever it was in the uh, first wave. Ah, so we can not quite regen. I. Full life is complete, like, revivification. Just destroy the crystal. Kind of like when you take down Seif. <laughs> You're getting in my way. They all seem to be having... Like, uh, s differing information here. Defeat the statue, defeat the kraken, defeat the skeleton. Yeah, well, we, you're seeming to have a great handle of things here. Yeah, there is still monsters here. And it takes the outcast of the group to tell them. Are they all working off of information that 
did they know from uh, elsewhere or have they been told who's been giving them these false leads or because they this came from a game in their world are there different variations of it casting magic as opposed to slow light ah crotch face Just keep stabbing away at the various shadows. How did they get up here? And they are spawning one big one. A dimensional soul eater. And they're all as shocked as each other. They're all using some form of lightning. Ah, she did a bit of damage there. And she's also taken a bit of damage. And your plan for for breaking its cast. I do like the, how the ship has a giant shell in its hull. Just silence it. I I just can only see a Pokemon battle when Philo gets involved there. <laughs> uh, incremental damage, but it's better than zero. But do you really want to whittle it down slowly or find something that works? Yeah, the old woman can't last forever, even with her quite impressive abilities. He has a plan. It took down a dragon. Maybe he should create some accessories to protect them from his rage shield. He needs someone to bring him back to his senses. Unless the world itself be swallowed. And with the other heroes here seeing this, I'm awaiting the snide comments and responses. Was that... The, the dragon before? So the rage... It's the rage of everything. 
So the more that he kills and inserts into his shield, I don't think the spikes are really necessary, but it's a transformation. <laughs> good, good. Let the hate flow through you. Oh, it's affected her as well. She's not immune to its response or effects. Immolate it. <laughs> Why are you just standing there doing nothing? Really, is this the time to uh, pull those kind of tricks? Oh, shut the hell up, bitch. Where's the Spear Hero's sense of justice of everyone is equal when it comes to what the, the shit she spears? Ah, uh, yeah. All the other trash mobs aren't going to just sit around. They're at least doing something. Because you're fighting for the world, it's bigger than you. <laughs> but even after... after they possibly managed to take it down this is only like the second wave it's only going to get harder and so far the shield has done something it's not exactly stopped it is he able to still remain himself. It is kind of surprising, well not really surprising, it's a good visual reminder of how much he has relied on Raftalia throughout the entirety of this. Not just in the uh, coming back from the rage. Is he found a new combination attack? Was that what that was showing? I remember him using that. <laughs> I don't think it's filled with those orange balloons though. <laughs> So that's why I saw Iron Maiden on that little list. Ah. Uh, okay, no, he hadn't actually used it yet. This is like a Final Fantasy summon. If he's doing this to a dimensional soul eater... <clears throat> Do you really want to go against him now after seeing this? Got any fanciful words to say, princess?
rather than use like, ah, oh, Thunder Arrow. Actually, uh, thinking of his skills in unison and actually going through and training. Yep, a lot better than he he did last time. He used the shield. Well, you've obviously got sh shit you can do as well, but you haven't tried. <laughs> the one person that he is afraid of. Then why didn't you? Good girl, Philo. It's not over yet. Do they really need to be told again that it's not following the game? That was effective. And she just annihilated it. How disappointing. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's... That's good that he's being singled out again. Okay. It's good that she is so cordial, but is she part of the 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 monster spawning, or just someone who wants the world to end? Can they rest up first? Not really a fair fight. And I'm not sure he can use the same Shield Prison Iron Maiden trick in succession. But for someone who can't attack, he's found ways around that. And an Iron Maiden? That's one way to go. Is there any materials left that he can put the into his shield? A Soul Eater shield. Now they'd really have to be careful around him. <laughs> But after the Soul Eater was taken down and the skies didn't dissipate, you knew there was something else. Who would you rather face the end of the world with? Spear Hero? Bow Hero? Old Woman Martial Artist? I think I know who we're safer with. Plus, maybe she'd make sure that no one was going into battle hungry. And the face from the opening has finally revealed themselves as glass. After pinning the second Soul Eater to the bowels of the ship with a thousand needles and then summarily crushing it underfoot. Oh no, we might be a little under leveled. And are the other heroes going to be slightly dejected and their egos hurt that only one was called a true hero? But I'm sure they'll find a way to make it seem as though he cheated, so we'll just have to wait for the next episode to see what that is about. Do you think they're all going to work together? 
I doubt it. I haven't learnt to do so so far. And even the bow hero, after being told of his many failures, still wants to work as some sort of vigilante, and well, I don't want to fight with the shield hero. No. Petulant child. And as it started off with the shield hero having no knowledge of the game, maybe that's for the best. No inbuilt assumptions where you can make the wrong decisions. Be caught off guard because you're expecting something else. If you enjoyed this one, let me know. You may want to come back for the future. There's a few episodes left, I believe. So, put in a nice hair clip. Maybe a bangle or two. See you in the next one. If you would want to fly through the sky, only to be assailed by numerous horrors, and potentially lose your soul, consider joining on to my Patreon. I need all the help I can get. So, to Sal, Raywin, Electric Ant, Arthur, Noku, Shiwan, Mecha, Jennifer Rojas, Stinsfire, Big Boy, Match, Russell Paulson, Gurley, Denver 1997, ASD, Dark Show 7899, and everyone else, hopefully we can clear these waves and go back to the peaceful life of just watching anime.